Hello everyone and welcome back to my video series for my new Beetleweight build, Psychotic Break. In the last video I talked about belts, I talked about pulleys, we did a frame mock-up, and now it is time to see if this thing can drive and do a little bit of a drive mock-up. So here it is with some wheels attached, let's see how this thing drives. For this video, being that this is the first time that I will be driving Psychotic Break, I think it's only fitting that I have my Gary Jin t-shirt on. So I'm not going to go into too many details on the drive setup here. Realistically, all I wanted to do and accomplish for this video is to get some wheels attached with some motors and just kind of get a general idea of what this thing looks like with some wheels on it and just kind of see the geometry of how it drives around. Uh, some of you that follow my channel may or may not know that my very first robot, Sergeant Cuddles, started out as a drastically different design and I actually had to scrap it two weeks before the competition because it just didn't drive. So testing out the drive is always one of the first things that I now do and I realize that the weight is going to be completely different on this however the weight distribution should actually be very similar but I just kind of wanted to get an idea of how it's going to look and feel and handle when driving so this is kind of my mock-up and as I said previously I'm not going to go into a lot of details about how the mock-up is made because the final bot is going to be very different from this this is just a mock-up for this video. Uh, you can see here along the side that I have cutouts for, I think, four different positions for the motors. What I wanted to do is test the motors kind of more up front, more towards the back, and this is just a really simple piece of wood that I laser cut, and it's just being compressed in. I made it slightly taller than what this gap is, and when I um, tighten these two bolts down, or these two screws, it just kind of clamps these in place. So these could just come out if I just pull them out. And I am using the same motor and gearbox setup that I was using in Anxiety Attack and I've used in Long Long Man as well. So really nothing new and nothing different here. Uh, so let me get a closer idea of what this looks like and then we'll get it in the test arena and kind of drive around. So here's a closer look at the side of Psychotic Brake and you can see that I just have cutouts um, along this side panel. There's really not a whole lot to um, discuss here. I just have the motor in the furthest forward position, but I could move it back as I want. Uh, but that's really all there is to it. In this test, I am using the um, Fingertech snap wheels, and these are a two and a quarter inch wheel, I believe, which gives it just enough clearance underneath the front and back. And the weapon rides quite nicely up front as well. I have yeah, maybe about a finger underneath of it. I do eventually plan on using a two and a half inch wheel, which would move it up even more and get the weapon tip further down to the ground as well. But that's really all that's going on. This design is not going to be anywhere similar to what the final design is going to end up being. I'm going to do something completely different, but just for testing, just for driving around, this is fine. Also, the guts are hanging out the back. Um, the drive motors and the weapon motor are both outrunners, meaning the can itself actually spins. So if I were to stuff this inside, it could get wrapped up. So I just kind of have all the guts hanging out the back, and I've got the battery connector hanging out the back here as well. So everything's just kind of hanging out the back. The beauty is this is so big that I actually can't spin around and hit myself. So it should be fine with just all the guts hanging out the back. So yeah, let's drive this thing around. So overall it drives pretty decent. It's a little too fast and that's not a big deal. I think for the final version, I'm going to step down to a slower uh, gearbox or a higher reduction just to make the gearboxes slower. It drives nicer when you um, let off the stick a little bit and you maybe only drive like 20% on the stick. It's actually a lot more manageable, so I probably don't need the extra speed, especially for a design like this. So I've got Psychotic Brake loaded in to the other side and I have a um, whole assortment of different Rob flavored sodas. There really is no point to this, honestly. I'm just doing this for fun because I wanted to see it hit something. But of course this is the wooden blade. This is way too small of an arena for this to actually drive effectively around and I've got the components hanging out the back. But why not? This is what I want to see and this is I'm sure what you want to see. 
Safety wise, it's perfectly safe inside this arena here. The only thing that's not safe are the components hanging out the back. The weapon blade really cannot come into contact with the battery or anything. It just can't whip around that much. Um, so, you know, that is a concern. However, this thing could go flying and I could lose some components, but I'm willing to take that risk. I just want to hit some soda cans. So let's put on the top and drive this around and see what, what kind of damage we can do to the Rob soda. Okay, nice and stupid. I'm gonna go relatively slow. This is just soda cans. A little faster. <laughs> and there goes the weapon. So not too surprising. Uh, let's see what kind of damage we did to the cans. So here are the soda cans. There wasn't a whole lot of damage. I did this test earlier um, off camera and I did actually end up able to puncture a couple of these, but oh well, uh, the test went you know pretty much exactly as I thought. I figured the um, weapon would break. The problem with this is I can't get too close to the walls because then something like this is gonna happen. It was really just that last hit where it was coming around and just kind of hit the wall dead on and just snapped right off. But overall, yeah, um, I think the drive is fine. I just need to slow it down a little bit. Um, I think that's gonna help out tremendously. It's just such a uh, wide arc of a weapon that really the drive is not that important for this. I just need to have clearance and be able to drive and not lose wheels. Other than that, there's not that much going on. So as always, thanks for watching. Um, I think the next step for Psychotic Break is going to be start uh, designing the actual pieces. I think I'm pretty happy with everything so far. I just need to actually go in and design the top and bottom pieces, design the body. I might actually start with the body because fitting all these guts in there is kind of tricky. So we'll see how that goes, but um, I think I'm pretty ready to start designing some real parts. So as always, um, thanks for watching. Check out the links down below. You can support me by um, shopping through Amazon. Check the link down below for more information on that. And also check out my channel updates and whatnot that I have on Facebook. See you next time.